Zones, Mantix Dead Zone, Vermin Faction Booster. This is a set that initially got me interested in Mantic. I've been working on some conversions for some uh, Necromunda Skaven. And so I was thinking, I wonder if these would fit with Necromunda and with those forces I had been creating. So let's take a look at what's inside the box. This is a uh, got some really nice photos. Kind of show you what they've got going on. And so here's your lovely rumbler, which is kind of cool design. I liked it, it was very creative. Here's your alternate weapon. And you get five of these um, malines. And there's our Night Terror. And a lovely and maternal brood mother. Oh, she just looks so warm and tender. I thought they might be bigger in proportion. Get a couple of mantic points with the box, which is nice. So once you get in the box, some bags. You've got MDF base for your night terror. Five regular bases, six regular bases for your malines. Okay, so that's their bases. No instructions, of course, Mantix doesn't make them. And let's take a look at the malines first. Oh, where's my trusty dusty scissors? There we go. Let's open these bad boys up. And they kind of fit with the uh, size of the um, Citadel Skaven. They don't fit too badly with it but their proportions and stuff are different so as you can see here's the body here's the five bodies they all look a little different that's nice uh, two are the same so we got two different bodies I mean, I like their designs, and some of the model cuts are really nicely detailed in this. They're just a little small, but that's the scale. Hey, thanks for watching Sprue Town. Please like, subscribe, and press that bell for updates. And go get yourself some more minis. These guys were in particular a pain in the butt. And the reason why is there is no instructions, which for 10 cents you ought to throw them in the box if they're going to do this. Um, the tails go specifically to the different body types. Um, the tanks and these wrist guns all go together in, in different ways, but the tank I think is specific to the gun. And so I tried to figure it all out and got bored with that, so I just put them together best I could. But outside that, they still look really nice. They're all a little different. I did clip some of the plugs. They were really, uh, got like a peg and hole system. And if you want to go ahead and clip that peg off, you'll get more variety with your posing. And let's see. And then you got the heavy spitter guy. Nice gas mask on the rat face. A little rat tail that whips around. And again, they're specific to the body, specific to the tail on how to put this guy together. So yeah, the broodmother, 28 millimeter. Fit together nicely, no issues. Doesn't look like much cleanup, and she's a good-looking model. 
nice rat tail and these little parts so this is interesting because this is the the kit that got me first uh, curious about Mantic games in general and then here's our terror and he's got his weapons on his back he was okay to put together comes with spare hands for different uh, angles of the posing spare back legs um, one tail fits in a specific way here's one of the weapons I basically am not going to glue these weapons on because I'm going to use them and let's see and be able to interchange these as we go so you do get some spare parts and that makes it nice so for some conversions down the road and here we go the second weapon it's looking like a spitter and you can see where the peg holes fit into the slot in little key directions so you can't make a mistake and so here's that little cannon on his shoulder I chose you do have two head choices one guy is a little more scarred up and gnarly I chose this guy he, to me he looked a little scarier but a nice model once he's on his base he should look really good I'm going to customize the base I won't put any blocks of cheddar cheese or Swiss cheese on it but we'll do it and then here's the heavy weapons and again this guy fits in really nicely they all fit in nicely although I'm not going to buy two sets so I can get um, each uh, weapon in there but they do come with a couple different weapons let's see here's the other one fits in there like that and then our driver has a little couple holes for the feet and a post for his butt and yeah it's kind of this kit made me just wish Mantic would get off its butt and go ahead and write up some you know, some instructions for installing all these things we've got a peg here that it fits in his feet go down here and we can swap out the uh, weapons on the little heavy machine here here is the uh, directional spotter for the weapon he goes with the guy he has his own base this arm was supposed to be down here I clipped off the post and then raised it up to give him a more aggressive look to him like over there dummy so he's cute he's got a lot of nice details next to my space marine captain so this captain here can definitely give him a run for the money size wise size wise they are skinnier than regular skavens but they do make a nice uh, space skaven team frost grave next to the brood mother That was from Deus Volt. So that's that size. And from the Human Infantry. From Oathmark. So he fits right in there. You could battle him. And if we're going into Necromunda land, I have my little Goliath guy here for size comparison and so the uh, rat mother's gonna have maybe a, a good battle depends on her weapons so but you can see where she's just taller than the goliath guy and so the rest of these guys wouldn't fare so well they're definitely scaven size here's frostgrave so that's right in there for a big monster 
This definitely is a threat. So So there you have it, Vermin Faction Booster. This is worth getting if you like uh, space rats. And if you want to put them in the Necromunda, I don't see where you're going to go wrong. Um, I'll show you later on uh, for some conversions what I did with uh, some Skavens and some um, Goliath weapons and put together these guys. But that's for another video. This is Spruce Town saying, like if you do, subscribe if you want to, donate if you can.